John, thank you. It is time now for our Sunrise Smart Start. Well, Joe Biden is the big winner on Super Tuesday. CBS News projecting the former vice president won nine primaries, including Texas. California is still undetermined with its 415 delegates, but is leaning toward Bernie Sanders, who won three states. Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren coming in third in her home state. And all 1,300 delegates were up for grabs, 30% of all pledging delegates. Well, a second case of coronavirus confirmed in New York. Governor Cuomo signed an emergency funding bill yesterday. It gives $40 million to the state health department. The governor wants to ramp up the state's coronavirus testing to 1,000 tests each day. The International Joint Commission, which monitors water levels of the Great Lakes, says it will review Plan 2014. According to a statement released yesterday, the U.S. and Canada will each contribute $1.5 million to the review. Plan 2014 came under fire after record flooding in 2017. This review could take up to two years to complete. Until then, Plan 2014 will remain in place. An official order signed by a federal judge yesterday says victims of alleged sexual abuse must file their claims against the Catholic Diocese of Rochester before August 13th. Now the diocese is facing two new lawsuits. The claim stating that supervisors within the diocese knew Father Joseph Larrabee was having inappropriate contact with little boys. Back in September, the diocese filed for bankruptcy, putting on hold all legal claims. The former Riverside Hotel in downtown Rochester could have a new owner by next week. News 8 confirming a sale is pending, according to a source in the hotel industry in Rochester. The source telling us the sale is expected to close Monday. The hotel closed several months ago. The city of Rochester had a proposal to build a performing arts center at that site. City officials would not comment on the sale of the property. Uh, some warm thoughts now. Organizers of the Lilac Festival will kick off the countdown to the 122nd edition this year. Later this morning, as part of the kickoff, the music headliners and special guests will be announced. They'll also announce ticket sales for the VIP experience and Recipe 21 High Spot Party Deck. The festival goes for 10 days. It is free May 8th through the 17th. Yeah, great to be talking about festivals this morning and another mild day on tap in Rochester, right, Josh? Yeah, it shouldn't be too tough to take at all. You know, typically this time of year we're into the middle 30s. Look at some of these temperatures into the mid 40s. Not as high as yesterday, but uh, still higher than what you would expect for the first part of March. And those breezes are a little bit busy. You can see that here with the uh, camera shot from Sutter's Marina in Canandaigua. Uh, gorgeous color though in the sky with the sun now officially up around uh, quarter of seven. And uh, we will enjoy at least some partial sunshine during the course of the day today. But I cannot rule out a spot shower, perhaps a wet flurry uh, as well, especially later this afternoon and into this evening. But uh, again, easy to take uh, kinds of conditions for this time of year with uh, highs in the mid 40s. All right, we'll take it. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching News 8 at Sunrise. Our next update coming up in 25 minutes. CBS This Morning starts right now. Have a great day.